What's up you guys? This is MC Lego Boy here with 6210 Jabba's Sail Barge, the last of the 2013 summer reset redo reviews. It's a mouthful to say, so anyway, um this set is taking the place of both 9496 Desert Skiff and 75020. Java sail barge. So, uh, the set came out in 2006. Those last two sets, um, the skiff came out in 2012. This is the 2013 sail barge. So, yeah. So anyway, um. I don't know, this was like an awesome set whenever I first got it. And then it kept kind of breaking on me. So in one sense it's a it's still a good set, and another it's not as good. But anyway, uh we'll be going over all the minifigs now, and there's a lot. Um yeah, the four that are on here, the four that are in there. So yeah. Anyway, um just gonna go like left to right so anyway here we've got a Gamorrean guard before he got all printed up and everything so yeah it's like sand green we got some brown on there um the one that's from Jabba's palace from 2003 actually it was like Jabba's prize these little um Jabba's prize and uh Jabba's message they clipped onto the sides of Jabba's palace and uh, Jabba's prize came with Boba Fett and a Gamorrean guard and it looked just like this except it had dark gray arms and it might have even had a tan body but you know still looks cool even though it's not all printed on so anyway the next figure is um, Lando Calrissian in his uh, disguise armor again also not as good as the 2012 uh, remake because this helmet even though it's the same mold is printed all over the place and it looks amazing um, he's also got a different design for the Vibroax so yeah Put him back uh, on Solo. Pretty standard looking guy. I mean, he's there. Uh, there we go. And then finally, see if I can keep this in focus long enough. Uh, there we go. We also have Luke Skywalker before he got uh, his hand shot and was given the black glove. Um, I've heard complaints about him not having the black glove because he always has the black glove in episode 6 and it's like this scene takes place as he gets shot in the hand and he puts a black glove on in his X-Wing. I don't know why some people just don't get that. But anyway, uh, then you got Boba Fett. He's cool. It's the old version of them where the jetpack and the helmet were put together. Also, nothing really too special about them. Um, what was nice, though, is that in 2012, they did uh, print on some legs to kind of give him some cool design. They didn't print on his arms, though, so... Eh. I mean, I, I guess it's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I mean, if you print on the legs, I kind of feel like you should print on the arms as well. But Anyway, then there's R2-D2. And R2-D2, since he was uh, in on all this stuff, and if you guys have seen Episode 6, you would know that he 
and C-3PO are sold off to Jabba the Hutt in a plan to save Han Solo. And part of being sold over to Jabba whenever you're a droid is to be the waiter for everybody. So. Anyway, uh, the other two figures, we got Slave Leia. She's got a bracket on her neck for a chain. And I've seen the new design for her. And it really does look good. She's got hair that uh, is actually this long braid instead of this little ponytail looking thing. And this version of her was basically just the same print design, only a few color changes. Like, instead of doing a dark yellow, they went with a dark flesh print. Because the only other time that we had a Slave Leia was uh, whenever she was in Jabba's palace. All the way back in 2003, back whenever they had yellow minifigs. And then you've got Jabba back there. I mean, there's really nothing special about him. You can't move his head. He does have movable arms. Um, and he does kind of have a dinosaur tail. I mean, that you can move around. But there, other than that, there's really nothing else special about him. Because, you know, he just kind of sits and be a fat lard. I mean, what else do you want? Ah. Uh, the chain got all messed up. There we go. So anyway, um, now we're going to move on to stuff that would have been from the Desert Skiff set. So I think this was one of the first things you build, if not whatever. Um, it's the Sarlacc Pit, and that's really cool that they gave you a Sarlacc Pit and a, and a Skiff with the barge. Um, trying to think, what was the price of this back in 2006? I think it was like $60, and this is quite a lot for $60. So, anyway, I think it, in one sense, it looks better, in another sense, it doesn't. Um, in one sense, it's all brown and tan, it, it's got all the teeth, or it's got a lot more teeth than the new version. The new version, though, has a larger head, so you can actually uh, close a minifig inside. This one you can't. And it also had tentacles. Now, to be honest, I still kind of prefer the old original one from 1983. Like, the original Sarlacc before they did all the special edition. And the only reason why is because the head... The little mouth thing that is in there, I mean, eh, it, it's okay. The tentacles were cool, and so was the rest of this, but the the mouth in there, I, I mean, I, I kind of thought that the whole thing was the mouth, because then what's the point of all these little spikes on the sides? So, I, I would think you would, that, like, it's, actually just a giant monster underneath and this is just its mouth kind of like how you saw the kraken in uh pirates of the caribbean uh dead man's chest or the kraken just kind of comes up from the bottom of that one ship and you just see the mouth and so that's what i'm kind of thinking it's like it's a giant sand kraken so i don't know the mouth i mean it works i i still just kind of like the original version what, before they put in that mouth thing. Um, anyway, the skiff. Our, our very dusty skiff. Dude, uh, I've gotten so much crap from people about this being all dusty. Like, people saying, you gotta dust this stuff off. And it's like, well, I mean, it is kind of in the desert. I mean, I, I know it's no excuse whenever you're in a space battle, but... I mean, they are kind of in a desert. There's sand everywhere. But anyway, um, I I never had a need for another Desert Skiff, which is why I didn't get the last version. Um, and I won't need another reason to get another uh, sail barge. I mean, I've got one. So, 
But anyway, uh, the skiff looks like that without all these mini. Camera stopped recording for a second. Um, but yeah, had that in there, which was nice. Um, just, it, it works. I like it. Had one sticker on it. And uh, the new version, it does look more like the actual skiff. It, it had a new mold. And these little side things are more realistic to what they were in the movie. I mean, like, with each year, the sets look more and more like the actual ships because we've gotten new pieces and sometimes even just, like, new molds for the actual set. So, um, also, the skiff in that version came with an additional minifigure rather than just uh, redesigning Luke, Boba Fett, and uh, Lando. It also came with Kithaba, which is a Klaatuian, uh, Klaatuian, or, yeah, Klaatuian, which was um, the same kind of guy that Castus was in uh, the Boba Fett arc in Clone Wars uh, Season 2. It, it's the guy with the really big underbite. So, came with one of those guys. Um, and the set was $25, which was a, a pretty good uh, price for a set like that. So, anyway, um, there was also a little control panel right there. But, yeah, I mean, there's really hardly any room on it. Now, I mean, granted, there wasn't a lot of room uh, the first time, or, like, in the movie either. But I know that they had, like, seven guys on this one thing. So you had one dude that was pilot. You had Han, Luke. You also had Chewie. Uh, I think, yeah, I also had uh, Lando. And then you had, like, three other guards on there as well. And, I mean, I guess you could get them all in there, but there's also supposed to be this box that's up in the middle. So. Um, and also, I've raised this up. I mean, this is just not enough. And especially whenever you want to kind of have a scene where you can at least have a guy fall into the mouth of the Sarlacc, which is what I think really made... Uh, the new uh, skiff set, not quite as good because you have this giant mouth and yet your skiff can't even, I mean, like, your skiff isn't even taller than the mouth by much. So, I, I would think, like, that would be an issue. And so, thankfully, since I've got a million of these one by 2 clear bricks, I can make things tall enough. So I can eat people. Nah. So anyway, then the actual reason why this set is called the Desert Skiff. Oh yeah, and you can even see like in the uh, box art, instruction art, you can even see that, I mean, it, it droops down. So it's like, you gotta have these things be up high enough or you gotta end up having all the pieces to make this giant hill. So, anyway, on to the sail barge. Sail barge is cool. Like, it, it definitely is cool. Uh, the actual sails on there, they're made from cloth pieces. If you got the Battle of Endor set, it's the same kind of material as that. I th think it's also kind of the same material as, uh, as capes. And it, it probably is, but I think this is double layered or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, we're just going to focus on the top right now. So right now I've kind of got Boba Fett in a flying position using clear bricks, but he also had uh, a thing up in front, which was very cool. But you do have to move a sail out of the way, like a lot. <sighs> Or even just remove it. It's simple enough to remove them. But you had... <laughs> just like what we had in the... Uh, the Corporate Alliance tank droid. 
Nope, that did not work. <laughs> you also have a little catapult for Boba. And I think that's a great little gimmick, especially since Bob Boba's supposed to be able to fly. And so it works. <laughs> but you kind of have to get stuff out of the way. Uh, R2-D2 is in the way right now. Um, you've got some sort of great thing. I mean, really, nobody's able to crawl up through it. So it's just more detail to make it look more interesting. There we go, we got Boba back to what he was supposed to be. Um, here, you've also got the giant gun, which is cool. And unlike this new version, it's not flick fire missiles. Because we didn't have flick fire missiles back in 2006. We had some versions of that in 2007, where it was actual pieces rather than a flick fire missile piece. But anyway, it's kind of off point. And just, you got some railing going around on all of this, like a bunch of it. But anyway, um, go back to the front. This front nose piece, it all comes off, um, but I really don't want to. Basically, it's a bunch of ship holes, uh, a bunch of ship hulls. Uh, all put together and then flipped upside down and clicked into pit, uh, place with pins. So, you know, which is a nice design. Um, the new one has a cannon stored inside here. You, you flip something up. But anyway. Oh, I just noticed that I'm looking at uh, the design for the new one, and it doesn't have as many of these on here. It's missing one. But anyway, uh, let's see. It doesn't even have as many uh, little windows to open up on the sides. So anyway, uh, we'll just flip this down. This thing is crazy. It's another one of these really long pieces like that. And unfortunately, whenever you move one, you end up moving them all, except for the ones that are kind of hooked into place with uh, with studs kind of on the ends there and right in the middle. But in here, we had a little jail cell, and it's also, uh, it opens on both sides. And we had, you could also have uh, Han and Luke and Leia all be trapped inside there, although there is no other side to that door or that little cage area, so they could just escape pretty easily. But anyway, um, we got a little oven with pan and some other thing up on top. And we've got a little frog in there. I like this little frog. Um, my, my personal favorite, though, is the transparent green one that comes in Jabba's Palace from 2003 that was cool um we also get a trans that time the memory card was full goodness gracious man this review i tell you what i tell you what all right so anyway uh you know we also got a trans green a trans lime green trans neon green blah, 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 blah. So, little spider. It's a weird color. That's all I'm saying, man. All right, and then we also got a snake in a bucket. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. And we also got uh, some drumsticks right here because Java is a, a fatty fat. So, um, anyway, also, um, this all kind of pivots down together. Anyway, um, and then over here, got Java and Leia. Um, and this is his, uh, little smoke, 
His little oh my heavens thing. Kids, don't don't. Okay, don't mention that. Um, his little smoker thing. <laughs> you know, you know how how Jabba likes to do the drug drugs, the druggies, druggy drug. So anyway, um, these back pieces they don't move. Um, I I can show you in the instructions why they don't, because it's pretty darn complicated. All right. Um, yeah, you see these pieces right here? Yeah, that thing? It's weird, okay? And so, whenever you finally get around to uh, putting up these panels on the sides, they kind of just lock into place. They can't move. Because this little, what's your ding it piece, this little octagon maker, it ends up uh, kind of messing with the hinge piece and it's just kind of, it, it sticks and stays. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> back in the old days before we had 2 by 4 plates, or tiles, uh, plates, we've had those things for ages now. Uh, before we had 2 by 4 tiles and, um, and we had stickers that had to go on top of two pieces and this really bothers me because, I mean, I don't want my two pieces sticking together like that. All this dust, I swear, man. I'll tell you what. But anyway, uh, we'll flip over to the other side. There's not much else left. Uh, there's the back of Jabba. See? Really, I mean, nothing special about him. Uh, and then we got a whole bunch of blasters. Ta-da! <laughs> I mean, there there is really nothing else to it. Now, this thing does make a cool uh, display piece, really. And also, if you end up doing what I do, and you get a whole bunch of uh, random minifigure parts, and you put them together to make bad guys, then you just kind of litter them all over the place. So I, I usually have a little alien guy here and a little human guy here. There's another human guy there. Human guy, human guy, human guy. A robot thing is also next to RTD2. Um, all, although all those humans, they're yellow skinned, which means that, I mean, they could and could not. I mean, I don't know. I like When it comes to displaying, I don't mind about the yellows and the fleshies mixing together because it is what it is. So, you know, got a guy with like a mace and a guy that has got a giant club and a guy that's got blasters and one guy, he's flailing around on this thing. So that's cool. Um, anyway, almost forgot the minifigures that you get in the new, uh, Java sail barge. Well, you get a weak way, which is fine. Uh, you know, can't ever get enough of those guys. They're cool. You know, ever since you saw Hondo and all of his guys in the Clone Wars, I mean, the weak ways are just cool guys. They do what they do. Um, we've also got a Gron alien, which is this three-eyed looking guy. And his name is, uh, Re Yees. Yeah, and then you've got uh, Max Rebo, and this is what I really want to talk about. Max Rebo is the little blue, almost elephant-looking guy, although if you've seen Robot Chicken uh, Star Wars stuff, you've seen all three of those, you'll know that he doesn't like being called a blue elephant. But anyway... Uh, Max Rebo. There is a big deal about Max Rebo because ever since uh, action figures and expanded universe stuff has messed with the uh, Ortolan species, which is Max Rebo's species, um, well, there's always been this giant controversy. Why? Because Max Rebo is sitting on a pillow whenever he's doing his keyboard jamming. He's not sit. Uh, he's not standing through anything, and I have a link 
in the description that leads to a blog, a Star Wars blog, like an official thing that tries to figure out what the heck is up with Max Rebo because he doesn't have two arms and two legs. He's got two legs and either no arms or he's this uh, guy that is deformed. He's always been without legs, but he he's learned to walk around on his hands or something. I mean, who knows? Um, there's also been a thing that has come up that if you look at his ears, they almost kind of work as flippers. And so he plays with his legs because his flippers can't really do anything when it comes to keyboarding. And so... Then whenever you see a little stand-up version of what Max Rebo and his original design is supposed to look like if he were to stand up, he looks like a dude that's got little flippers for arms. Um, but there's also been a thing that says that there's like, or there's uh, been ideas that perhaps there are two types of these guys. Some that have uh, no legs and some that do have legs. But the little Max Rebo minifigure that we get, uh, he's got short little legs and he's got uh, regular arms. And, I mean, that that's cool, whatever. It's a Max Rebo figure. Max Rebo's cool. Um, I mean, it, it's the guys that, like, don't do anything. They just kind of have a... a interesting thing about them. I mean, you think about nice, uh, Sice Noodles. I mean, until she was in the Clone Wars, she didn't do anything. And even in the Clone Wars, all she did was make out with Zero and shoot him. So, yeah. That ought to give you a mental image if you haven't seen that episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, Evil Plans, man. That That's a weird episode right there. So... I think that is about it. This review is long as all get out. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this series of 2013 Somerset Redo reviews. And pretty much that's it. Uh, this uh, came out in 2006. We're finally getting remakes of stuff in 2012 and 2013. So see you guys.